What, haven't you been studying relativity a lot since we talked about it? Maybe not, yeah, okay. Now's the time to refresh our memory. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did two homework assignments on it. Mm -hmm. so yep. I thought we made some progress on it at the time. Let's see. The length of the spaceship is measured to be... What's the basic formula? Well, what do you think is the basic formula that we would use for this problem? Oh, the... Go ahead and write it down. Oh, it's the L... Is it L is L-O? The square root of... books will use different form symbols here. I think uh, your textbook uses L prime for this length and L for this one. I don't know what your instructor used in lecture. I guess L alone might be a, a reasonable thing for his. Okay. Um, so when is relativity important? So when you're close to the speed of light. Yeah, when V is close to C. Um, and that's what this variable tells you here. So after all, if v was much smaller than c, what would happen to this equation? This would be about zero, you get one. Yeah, this would be about zero, and then the two lengths would be about the same. Um, the only time this makes a difference is when v is close to c, and then you're subtracting the real number over here. All right, so anyway, this was not covered in the textbook. Maybe you talked about this in lecture, but the speed parameter is the ratio of the speeds. Just by definition. You can see that why that's an interesting ratio, because we're just saying that's what determines how big of an impact relativity is going to have. So, so all they give you is the length of the spaceship is measured to be exactly one fourth. Oh, it's rest length. So, the rest length is. Is L prime? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead with that. That sounds good. That's the, that's the rest length. So if the length of the spaceship is measured to be one fourth its rest length, so L prime is. So this one is one fourth its rest length. So and its rest length is four times bigger. Right. So that so four times this is this. So four times the moving length is the rest is the rest. Who's smaller? The variable with the prime or the variable without the prime? Yeah, how do we know? I just made it bigger. Pardon? Wait, so the variable with the prime is, oh, the variable with the prime is, is not your rest length. That's your moving length. Right. But, but remember, that's maybe not the best way to think of it because, again, we, we don't quite want to say moving because everything's moving from some point of view. So first of all, how did you know that this variable is always smaller? Well, it's just we can see that mathematically, right? Because over here, we're going to be multiplying L by something less than 1, right? We're starting with 1 and we're subtracting something from it. So we're multiplying L by something less than 1. So this was the key that we were going over uh, a few weeks ago when we went over relativity. The key to using this equation is remembering which is the bigger variable and which is the smaller variable. If you, if you forget that, you can always figure it out from the math. Yeah. All right. 
And now, you actually don't even have to have ever studied relativity before. So four, um, yeah. Uh, so four should be times the prime. Okay, so how would you plug in there then? Okay. I mean, should it be four? Four L prime is L? I think you're getting a little confused by the algebra, so. Yeah. Um, Which of these is the rest length? The, the L. How do you know? Because it's longer. Yeah, the problem told us that the, the length Let's put it this way. The problem told us that the length is smaller than the rest length. The problem told us that the length is only one quarter of the rest length. Yeah. So who, who should we use, which variable should we use for the length? Well, we have to use our smaller variable here, which is L prime. Well, yeah, that's, the, that's the hard part of this problem. Which right. might use who? So that's going to be L prime. And then we know that we have to use L for the bigger. Now, how can you make this into an equation? You can make this by putting in either, either a four or a one quarter, but you have to figure out which side to put it in. Yeah. So you have to decide whether you want to put it in a four or a one quarter. You can use either one, but then you have to put it on the right side. So which side of this equation? You can put four on the right side. And how do you know that's right? Because then, oh, well, we know that L is bigger than L prime. L prime so, you so you have to multiply L prime by four to get them equal. Yeah. I shouldn't do it like this, I should say. We know that L is bigger than L prime, so the only way to make them equal is to put the 4 over here. Th this is the part that I think was uh, really um, giving you trouble and, and gives most people trouble. People get very confused about how to just write an equation yeah. that says the relationship between yeah. things. So the best thing is first to figure out which variable stands for which concept, yeah. and then ask, where do I need to put the number to make this into an equation? Yeah. Well, if you're multiplying by 4, you won't need to multiply the smaller thing by 4. So for example here, okay, so now we should be able to proceed. That's the easier substitution because otherwise we'd have a fraction. Not exactly. Well, what, what, what? Let's carefully write down what the question is. Yeah, we'll see it. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so how are, how are you going to simplify this equation here? So I can cross this out, make this a 3. Do the algebra step by step. So technically, crossing out is not an algebraic maneuver. What, what exactly is the algebraic maneuver that allows you to do that cross out? I divided. Show that on paper. So if I divide, so L prime divided by four. Okay. Oh, so because of the L. Yeah, what am I doing? Take your time. <laughs> so. Okay. Good. Now, notice how what my recommendation was to keep writing down the steps. And here's what I mean by writing down the steps. You don't want to just do cross outs. Because then you don't know, then you don't want to know whether there's a zero or a one over here, for example. So you have to actually write down, you have to go back to sophomore high school and ask yourself, what's the rationale for what I'm doing? Well, what you're really doing 
I think the easiest thing to do would be just to start by dividing everything by L prime. Forget the four for a second. Just divide by L prime. Well, what's L prime divided by L prime? One. And then L prime divided by L prime here, these cancel. So there are no, I think you see now, there are no threes that come in. Because that, again, was when we were thinking about subtraction, basically. OK, so notice how I actually wrote down the operation that we were doing to both, uh, to both sides, like you would have when we were first learning uh, the algebra. Because there's so many variables here that people lose, lose their intuition. So it helps to actually write down the steps. You don't want to do any of those steps on paper. Uh, it would be a shame to lose credit on this for uh, a couple algebra mistakes that we could avoid.